Hello everyone, my name is Devashish and I welcome you all to this video. FRIDA is a very powerful dynamic binary instrumentation framework. So FRIDA is particularly useful for dynamic analysis on Android, iOS, Windows and Linux uh, applications. So it allows us to set up hooks on target functions so that we can inspect, modify the parameters passed to it and also uh, tweak his return values. We can alter the entire functionality of any particular hook function. So we have already seen one of those features in our previous videos. Uh, so in this video, we are going to closely look at FRIDA's Python binding. Uh, how can you use uh, uh, FRIDA's Python binding to uh, instrument uh, any Windows application? So FRIDA basically works by injecting a JS engine into the instrumented process and it is typically controlled with the JS code. Uh, FRIDA supports two JavaScript engines. Uh, so DuckTip is by default used, uh, but V8 all is also supported. Uh, but if I, I if I am not wrong, V8 is uh, not uh, supported on iOS right now. So in this example, uh, we'll see how uh, how to use Friday's Python binding to inject any JavaScript code within the, uh, within the process that you want to instrument. So uh, this is going to be a very basic example. Uh, so let's uh, go through the code line by line. So here we are actually importing all the required modules, Friday related modules that are required for this. Uh, so uh, we are assuming that the notepad process is already running. So using this line, what we are doing, we are attaching our uh, our code uh, to this particular notepad process, which is already running. So the next line is pretty interesting. So the next line, what it says, it's actually, uh, we are actually crafting a JavaScript snippet and we are actually, this particular line is going to inject this particular code within that notepad process. And and this is kind of an event handler and this uh, on message function. Uh, so we can just put it here. Uh, what it is going to do whenever any uh, any uh, we receive any message from notepad.exe. Uh, in this particular example, we are going to receive hello world from notepad.exe. We are going to print it here. So this callback handler is going to trigger. And this is how we are actually loading the script. So now if you execute this notepad.exe is already running. And if you execute test.py, as you can see, we have seen a message hello world, which means the message is coming from this JavaScript code is successfully injected, injected into um, notepad process and it has sent us back this message called hello world. Uh, so now since uh, notepad is running, right, and uh, we are already into uh, the FRIDA module, uh, FRIDA agent is already uh, into this notepad process. You can verify that by going to uh, this module list, uh, modules that are loaded, you should be able to see that FRIDA agent 64 DLL is the FRIDA agent that is being, uh, you know, that is already injected into the notepad process. Uh, so in our next example, we are going to uh, modify this existing script and we are going to instrument our very favorite function uh, message box for notepad. Uh, so this is how you trigger the message box within notepad. So we are going to instrument this. So for that, we have to modify our uh, JavaScript code that we are actually, you know, injecting into the process uh, notepad. So you have to just add it like this here. Yeah. Okay, this is going to be, this is where our JavaScript code will go. So the first thing that we have to do here, we have to uh, get the address of uh, message box W API from the export table of uh, user 32 DLL. So how you do it? This is how you do it. Uh, okay, uh, I think it is it. it uh, okay, I need to zoom out a bit or extend it a bit. Just a second. Yeah. Okay. So this is uh, how you do it. Module dot find export and the the message box API is exported from user DLL and we are getting the address here. So in the next line, what we can do, we can just, you know, print the address of message box here. So the next thing that we have to do here, we have to uh, add a, uh, to instrument this particular API, we need to add an ha add a handler into that. So this is how you do it in FRIDA. Uh, so this is, we are going to just, you know, yeah. Uh, 
so interceptor dot attach and you have to pass the address of message box w since we are willing to instrument message box and this is going to be our function enter handler this is going to be the exit handler uh, so now if you just add a console dot log here say entering into entering into message message box w and on leave you can say exiting from message box w so let's test our code if it is working as intended or not okay let me see i can remove this hello world thing yeah message box user 32 let's see uh notepad is still running yes we'll do python test and we got the message box address where it is uh, loaded. Now, if you trigger the message box call, as you can see, we are entering into message box. And now if you do, if you if we finish this call, we should see it is exiting from message box. Yes. So which means the instrumentation is working as intended. So that's what I wanted to discuss with you guys in this video. Uh, so thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.